life's such a beautiful thing. Don't you think? Any Puerto Ricans in the house today? I see a few. Oh, you guys coming in? I see you guys. I see you guys. Let's do a Puerto Rican plate for order 69. All right, okay. We got a nice hunk of, is this ham hock? I was gonna say ham hock. What is this? Pork shoulder here. Are we gonna do? Take this big pork shoulder here. We're gonna, not the bone, but the skin. The skin from the meat. Here we go. We got the skin off, or not off. It's still dangling. Stab some holes in it. I'll make a nice marinade. So I got a ball of garlic. Well, almost a ball of garlic. That's all the garlic I have, but get a ball of garlic to this tablespoon garlic powder. And then half tablespoon garlic salt. One tablespoon onion powder. One and a half tablespoon black pepper. I'm gonna do two tablespoons of salt here. I'm gonna do a little more than a tablespoon. Let's go two tablespoons of smoked paprika. And I'm gonna do two tablespoons of dry oregano. Okay. Finish it off with some olive oil. Let's go half a cup. Mix it in very well. You guys smell it? Oh yeah. Nice and mix. Lift up that cap. Rub it in very well. Make sure you get everything into the cracks as well. Or the stab wounds that we, we stabbed in. Penetrate it. Oh man, penetrate it. Make sure it gets penetrated, all right? We're gonna let this sit overnight. Minimum. <laughs> Seven in the morning. Oven's preheating at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna toss this in for about five hours. Here we go. We're gonna make some sofrito. So, one bulb of garlic. We got one bunch of cilantro here. We got some green peppers. I got two small green peppers going in and one large onion, okay? And that's it. I don't got any cilantro because I've been finding today, but cilantro will do, guys. Turn it up. Two tablespoons of olive oil going in. All right, last time I made mufongo, uh, one person told me that all you need for Puerto Rican seasoning is sofrito and some sazon for the seasoning. We got half a onion, half a red pepper, half a yellow pepper, half a, uh, what is this, orange pepper? <laughs> Sorry guys, I got my colleagues. Okay, we're gonna do some salt, teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of black pepper. I'm just gonna salt with this. So it works. Once I got this nice and salty, I'm gonna take this out. We're gonna do oil to the pan. Beautiful chunky. Packet of sazon seasoning. Also just a pinch of salt and pepper as well. And let's get that season. Back in. A nice little medley. So one cup of tomato sauce here. Okay. Oh shoot! Oh man! Oh man! I goofed it there. Okay. Let this simmer on a medium low heat for about five to eight minutes. Then we'll take it off, alright? Taste this bad boy for more seasoning, okay? Taste and adjust for your liking. That's delicious. Now I feel like it needs a little more sazon into the mix. Uh, I just noticed this. Wait, where is it? Where is it? Give me a second. It's on this package here. A little magic. <laughs> Plantain. Oil's nice and hot. Toss them into the pool. I don't care if they can swim. Just have to get in cooking time for this. I want to say three minutes. Remember I said three minutes? I lied to you guys. Eight minutes. Everybody out of the pool. Over here. I got a nice authentic pilon. If you guys don't know what pilon is, I don't know. <laughs> Fine pains. In. Bush. Oh man. Season. Salt. Some black pepper. Get into it, guys. This legit is a two-hander thing. Not a one-hander thing, huh? Okay. More plantain. Bush. 
to see if it needs more seasoning. Okay. Right on, Mr. Kota. It's got a nice super fish. Oh, that's hot. But so that's real nice. A rose gone gandules. Two tablespoons of olive oil, a cup of ham, chopped up, fried. You got your ham nice and fried. Three tablespoons of paprika. Three heaping tablespoons. Fried that in. Two package of sazon. I find sazon not too salty in any way. It's just nice and mellow. Not too sure what's in it, but it's tasty. A can of green beans, or not green beans, green, I what kind of beans these are. Green pigeon beans, that's what it is. Okay. Then we got one can of tomato sauce, We're going in right here, some green olives. Maybe the whole thing. Chicken stock here. Just go half a liter. And let that boil up. Just to catch a nice boil, two cups of long green rice in. Stir that in nicely, okay? Drop the heat down too low. Throw on the lid. Don't open up for 25 or 30. No, 25 minutes in. Arrows gone. Gandulas. Did I say that right? <laughs> okay, it's a little wet right now, but it's gonna dry out, okay? You trust me? Just let it sit for a bit, all right? All right, four hours in. This is what I'm gonna do. Take off this tin foil. Then we're gonna cross this top here for additional one hour. Burnt the cross. Oh man, but I think we can salvage it. I think we can. Man. It's crispy. But I burnt it. I salvaged it. Look at that. Still tasty, I promise you. You know what? I think that's the whole thing, you know? When you mess up the skin, you kind of just mess up the whole thing, guys. I kind of feel bad. Kind of feel... A little down right now because of the skin, guys. It's all about the skin, but it's still crunchy and still tasty. I promise you guys, okay? Let's do this. Let's chop this down. Oh, man. I should have waited a bit more, but it's time to eat, guys. I've been waiting. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. It's flying everywhere. Order six and nine. Your order is almost up. Arroz con gandules. All right, Puerto Rican. Okay, this is a little tricky, guys. Okay, let's start with this first, right here. This is the, I know I keep saying it wrong. I rose con gondelas. Okay, my twist, my take on it. It's always been my twist, my take on it, guys. <laughs> Everything I cook is my twist, my take on it. Even everybody has their twist or take on it. This is the arroz con gondolas. Guys, bite on this, quick top. It's got a nice soup off of this. Mmm. It's delicious. <laughs> what can I say? Mm. Mm? I really love the olives in this. Oh man. Let's get some of that pork. Mm. Good job. It's got soup pop this. Mm. That's nice, simple, and easy. I was gonna say, you can't really mess this up, but I kind of messed up on the skin. Mmm. Flavor wise, it's simple. Nice, simple, and easy. But this rice still delicious. Mmm. Try some of that skin. Mmm. It's got it's super pumped this. You hear that crunch? Nothing beats a crispy pork skin. Let's say that. Even though I burnt it, and I feel really bad, 
it still tastes amazing. Mmm. 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 Mufango. Hey, my Mufango, you know what I should have done? Did this last minute. Kind of goofed up. Now it's like rock hard, but I know it's still gonna be tasty. I should have microwaved it a bit, but it's okay. We'll just break it down. Mm. Bite on this. Might not look like it, <laughs> but I know it's gonna taste similar in a way. Like that. It's got a nice soup off this. Mm. It's delicious. I made mufango before. And it came out amazing. I made it with pork though. The shrimp is amazing too. But I'm kind of hurt still. Mm. By the skin. Mm. I'm gonna say. I apologize, Puerto Rico. I will redeem myself, alright?